on the main card is in the welterweight division. A Kiwi, Rod, Hot Rod McSwain takes on a Korean, Lee Yong Jie. Okay, let's cross over now to the tail of the tape. Vaughn, what can you read into this one for us? Lee is a few years older and everything else pretty much matches up. I think I'll have to give the strength advantage to McSwain, but Lee is crafty. Well, we are licking our lips with expectation here, Vaughn. This is a welterweight clash between the New Zealander Rob McSwain and Lee yong -Jia. And, uh, well, you heard the introductions there from the MC Vivek Mabubani. The, the Chinese language you could hear is Cantonese, the local lingo here in Macau, as we get ready to get it on here at Legend Fighting Championship 6. Tonight's Fight Clock is presented by City of Dreams. Feel the rush of spectacular entertainment. Now, Vaughn Blood Anderson, talk us through the matchup here. McSwain looks really methodical coming out. It's the start of this fight. He told us that he's dedicated himself to MMA and he's a brand new fighter. And I got to tell you, he was pretty damn good before. Called in at the last minute for a belt clash against Kim Hoon. We had an injury to one of the contenders, Bear Myun Ho. And he took his chance with both hands, beat Kim Hoon for the title, but then backsticked Big Bad Bay, who works McSwain over, and he lost the belt, but he's coming back here with a vengeance against the Korean Lee. You really saw Lee loading up with that left straight. He really believes heavily that he can knock out McSwain. I gotta tell you though, he's never been finished. McSwain's never been finished. It's no easy task. Were you disappointed with his performance last outing against Bay Myun Ho? Well, Bay is our champion and he's tough for anybody to beat. I don't think, I think McSwain did as best he could. He just got a little bit outclassed on the ground. He's coming back now with a lot of wrestling. He told me he's been training wrestling. We see that here, pushing his opponent up against the ropes. Peppering with knees, I like that. We saw this in the Kim Hoon fight. He takes up a position, uh, a rugby player in his youth. It's very similar pushing style, draining the energy on the ropes of his opponent against Kim Hoon from Korea. We see a lot of Koreans in this welterweight division in Asia, don't we? Yes, we do. McSwain got to be careful here with his head so low. Gets the takedown, okay. Lee with the butterfly hooks in. We don't know much about Lee's ground game, but he gets back up to his feet. Well, Macau hasn't been a happy hunting ground for, for Lee, has it, in the past? He, no, he's been, he's been, um, we, Lee and I fought in the same show here in Macau two years ago, and he was knocked out quite badly by, ah, uh, oh, look at him grab the ropes, he was knocked out quite badly by uh, legend fighter Wong Sai. Oh, he's getting a warning now, don't grab the ropes. The killer be a very experienced referee, so he won't be pulling the wool over his eyes today, that's for sure. As they reset. Glad you could join us here today for Legend Fighting Championship 6, live in Australia. And uh, good evening to all our audience around the world. Oh, Ooh, Lee with a knee of his own. <laughs> Getting very close to the groinage there of Rod McSwain. And <laughs> uh, a grin appears on McSwain's face, or a grimace, was it, perhaps? Doesn't seem to be too many poor effects there. But uh, that knee was getting pretty close to the danger zone as we reset <coughs> mid-ring. When you get into a position like this, it's good. But, you know, I, I, I would never trade a knee to the thigh for a knee to the guts. Boom, big hard punches from both fighters now. Good, good connecting right hand for, for McSwain, who also has great hands. So really bending into these punches, putting a lot of force behind them. Two minutes left of round one. Swain looking in great condition from his last outing. Lee seems to be expecting these lead leg low kicks from Rod, and every time he lands one of them, he counters with a straight left. Mm. 
Nice combination from Lee now. There's some real meat in these punches. Both fighters showing their heavy hands early on here. Here's this position that McSwain favors a lot. Ooh, that looked low. So creeping into the last minute of round one, McSwain and Lee at the City of Dreams in Macau. Lee seems to be unable to get out of this control. Well, it's very, we saw Kim Hoon two fights ago as well, really struggle with this body position, didn't we? It's very hard when you're pinned right up against the turnpike there. Ooh, nice knee from Lee. That looked low, that oh. looked low. When you heard the... Oh. The exhaling of uh, the wind out of McSwain's guts. There, and he's been issued with a yellow card. So, what does that mean in terms of the fight, Vaughn? Well, it means there's a deduction of money from his purse, his fight purse, that's for sure. And any more fouls, he gets a red card and McSwain wins. So using the soccer parlance almost, an MMA. Lee, not happy. He didn't think it connected in any illegal place. Both fighters seem content to keep it standing. Good, good connecting punches from both fighters. Swain, a look of determination on his face as we get into the last stanza of round one here. Jeez. Lee's really mastered that kick to the guts, hasn't he? Swain looking for the body lock takedown. Lee did a good job of getting about avoiding it. That's the end of round one. So end of round one here in this welterweight clash. A mixed bag, really. First up for the Kiwi and the Korean. A lot of Australasians on the card tonight taking on Northern Asians. We've got some fantastic clashes coming up later as we head to round two. McSwain in the black shorts, Lee in the whites. Let's see if these guys turn it up a bit in the second round. Good kicks from McSwain. Lee's done a great job of stuffing these takedowns. Ooh, perfect timing. Now he goes for a takedown of his own. It's McSwain against the ropes, turns it around. We've seen this before. So McSwain in his corner has Aaron Boys and Carl Weber. And with his head low like this, McSwain's really re vulnerable of getting guillotine choked. I would look to keep my head a bit higher up. Yeah. Lee trying to get some grip and leverage. But down he goes. Grounded like Qantas in the corner of the ring. I think here on the ground is a better better place for McSwain to, to score some points. He's worked on his strength and conditioning, built a lot of muscle. He reckons he's added two kilos of muscle to his 77 kilo fighting frame since the last outing. He really is in great shape. Killer B resetting the fight in the center. Also spent a, time, a bit of time a year ago up in Brisbane with Danny Deathroll Higgins from the integrated MMA team as well. Learned a lot there about the ground game, he was telling us. Getting past the legs, is he gonna get his back? Now it's Lee on top, side control now. Well, we know that this is sort of the weak spot for McSwain. We saw that off his back, Bamian Hall was able to really dominate. So what's your advice for him in this position? How can he best extricate himself? What he can do is stick his stick, grab a hold of one of his legs, turn over to his stomach, pull the leg in, and try and get top position this way. He's got to be careful. Legends rules. Legend rules. 
He can take big knees to the head from here. It's not a place he wants to hang out. There he is, McSwain pinned underneath. And, well. Never been finished in a fight, McSwain. Just the three losses. Two to uh, Manny Rodriguez. And one to Bain Yun Ho, our champion here at the Legend Fighting Championship. Oh, big hammer fist from Lee. Lee really getting a dominant position going here in round two. As we get into the last couple of minutes of this five minute round. Still two minutes left. And this is not, this is not a good situation for McSwain. He's got to get out of there. He's got to get back on his feet and score some points or he's going to lose this round. Exactly how Bay won in his fight to take the belt from McSwain. Oh, there's a nasty fist and hammer. Oh, nice reversal. McSwain gets, gets back to his feet. Now he's going for the takedown. McSwain knowing all about hammer blows. Runs a construction company with his father, Peter McSwain, in Auckland. But again, finds himself underneath. Lee's doing a good job of sprawling out on this single leg takedown. If McSwain wants to succeed, what he's got to do is pull Lee's knee up into his own chest and look to push him to the side with his head. Now Lee's back to his feet. We're back into this shoulder, shoulder press that McSwain likes so much. And with his head down, is he going to go for a choke? He's really got a chance here for a choke, sir. Leong Jie. Can he firm it up? No, McSwain goes for the takedown again. McSwain used to play rugby with one of the stars of the All Black team that just won the Rugby World Cup, Kieran Reid. Was in the same team, and Rod reckons he was better than him. <laughs> so a bit of success there for New Zealand in the sporting realm. Last 30 seconds of the round. Let's see what McSwain can do here. Is he getting his head in the right positions here, Vaughan? He seems to end up in some pretty poor places. Well, he could. There's definitely ways to improve some of these takedowns. But he, I'm, I'm quite impressed with Lee. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to defend. He knows how to reverse. And he's done great this round. McSwain now gets dominant in the last few seconds of round two and gives him some elbows of his own as the bell tolls. But you have to really think the Korean having the better there of the Kiwi in round two. So not the best of rounds there for McSwain. What would you be saying in the corner there if you're Carl Weber? Keep up the good work. I think he's doing fine. He's got to tighten up. Got to tighten up those takedowns a little bit, get better top control, let off the GNP. That's what he's groomed for. So if you've got an internet connection, please get in touch with us on Facebook. You'll have all the latest news and views and all the coming events coming up at the Legend Fighting Championship. Just look for us under Legend Fighting Championship. I was just about to say there was a hush in the crowd and then we had a throaty scream from one of the one of the people in the crowd to get things going again for round three, final round here with Legend Fighting Championship six. Both McSwain and Lee hugely popular with the fans here in Macau. <coughs> Both fighters very humble. No bragging here. In fact it was strange at the way and Lee wouldn't look McSwain in the eye at all, would he? Yes. But he certainly turned up to fight today, that's for sure. Slight injury scare too for Lee on Friday. Had a bit of a shoulder injury, but he seems to have shrugged that off pretty easily. Both fighters feeling each other out here. Here we are in the final round. I'm looking for these guys to step it up a little bit. I think they got more. They're being conservative with their energy. Lee really wading in there to McSwain. And he goes forward, he goes forward with purpose, that's for sure. 
and connecting with a straight left. That's, the, that's his money shot. You can hear the instructions in Korean there being barked out to Lee. Some really strong fighters coming out of Korea, especially in this welterweight division. We saw Kim Hoon earlier this evening go up against Robert Whitaker, one of the young Australians, unbeaten. Right now, I think that McSwain is winning. He's been doing a great job throughout the fight, and on top of that, Lee got deducted points with that yellow card in the first round. I think it's Lee really got to take advantage these last three minutes, really turn it up, go for the kill. Well, his girlfriend Natasha will be watching Rod back in New Zealand. Baited breath. Nice left stray. Yeah, he's got that one zoned in, hasn't he? First came to prominence in Australasia when he beat Ian Bone, the Australian champion with an armbar at Supremacy 7, Rob McSwain, and then got called up here to Asia. Last minute replacement. It's really made every post a winner. Until that fight with Bay, and then it all went a little sideways for McSwain. He's on oh. the road for redemption here. Great inside leg kick from, from McSwain. They're starting to hurt. He said he spent a lot of round one chipping away at the inner thighs there of Lee. There's a good punch. Puts McSwain off balance. That left is just coming relentlessly from Lee, isn't it? It is, but you know, Mike, what he's got to do is he's got to follow up with a combination. He's not going to knock him out with one punch. Another Kiwi coming up later in the evening. Sam Brown is taking on Liu Wenbo in the light heavyweight division. And a lot of Aussies coming up to some lightweight clashes for you. Again, clipping McSwain. Lee is landing a lot of punches, but it just doesn't seem to be doing so much damage. Barely anything on the ground in this round, too. Neither fighter wanting to take it down. Is that unusual for you? Well, most of my fights end up on the ground, and I think most fights in general, whether it's in a ring or it's on, on a street, end up on the ground, too. <laughs> Lee showing a little bit of exhaustion there in his stance. McSwain's still strong. Again, going for that inner thigh, McSwain. Into the last minute here. And this one looking as though it'll go to the judges. Interesting to see their call on it. Pace is really slowed down here. Both fighters seem, seem to be respecting the danger in each other's hands. Alex McSwain shooting for a takedown, stuffed oh. by Lee. Now the crowd getting into it. I want to see some more action for the last 15 seconds of this fight. Urging them on as we hear the 10 second clap. Bon Lee backing up McSwain now with punches. Oh, a bit of showbiz there from Lee. But is it going to be enough? Goes the distance. Well, we said he looked like Chao Young Fat, and we saw the showbiz side there whooping it up with the crowd, but uh, I'm not sure if I'd be all that confident if I was Lee Yong Jie. Pretty even fight, but uh, Vaughn Anderson, you're the expert here. What do you think? Well, I think Lee did well at the end of the fight, but that yellow card in the first round is going to cost him points. I don't know if he's going to be able to uh, come out on top in this one. Well, let's give you a little bit of a microscope here by looking at some of the replays, some of the best action. Yeah, here's some exchanges back and forth. The whole third round was on the feet. As McSwain with a kick. And there's just, that left hand of Lee's. Just seen the intensity from round two. Just went out of Lee's performance, didn't he? He had such success on the ground, and then he didn't back it up. Yeah. So 
Rod McSwain and Lee Yong Jia. Both there you'll see the portraits of the two fighters. Lee Yong Jia thinks he might have won this. Rod McSwain a little bit more introverted, but probably just as confident. I'm telling up the judges' scores now. And we'll have a result for you in just a minute. Don't forget, if you want to check us out on the internet, you can at legendfc.com. It's going to have all the information on the forthcoming fights. Bit of a rumor that we'll have our next event in February. Look out for that one. Go and visit the website. Stay up to date and be here at the City of Dreams in Macau because it's great action and a good weekend's entertainment, that is for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. King was Judge Eric Bossenbat scores the contest 29-27. Judge Henry Chan scores the contest 30-26. Henry Chan Judge Daniel Pereira scores the contest 29-27. Daniel Pereira, Bees of Gaius of Chafun. Yeti Kutin, you sing Chicka Hai. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Rod McSwain! Well, the Korean is disappointed, but that yellow card really came into play, ju judging by the scores. Honestly, Mike, regardless of the yellow card, I believe McSwain clearly dominated. He got better takedowns, he did more on the ground. So it's a victory for the young New Zealander. Rod McSwain takes his record to 13, 3 and 1. A victory in the welterweight category over Lee Yong-Jair here at the Legend Fighting Championship 6.